Time to talk about sound production. Good sound production is when somebody can make a big, healthy sound with a minimum of effort or energy expended. And in order to understand that, we need to know what makes a big sound. So, how is volume produced on the cello or on a string instrument? Well, the string vibrates back and forth at a certain rate. Oscillations goes like this. For the A, it goes 440 times a second back and forth. Uh, for right now, we're going to use the D string. And when we see the string go like that, at a certain width, when we increase that width, in other words, it goes wider but the same rate of speed, it imparts more energy into the instrument and that's what produces a louder sound. And so we can see just how this works. I'm going to turn the camera around so that you are looking at what I am looking at. And if I play the D string, you can see right in the middle how the string vibrates back and forth. And this is what we're going to watch very carefully. Now I'm going to turn the metronome on so that we can have a controlled experiment here. If I pull the bow at a certain speed and I put it up here close to the fingerboard. You can see that there's a certain width here. If I move the bow more towards the bridge and pull at the same speed, then you will see a wider vibration. That is a louder sound. If I go right up to the bridge, see I am getting maximum sound for that bow speed. If I want to make the same volume up here by the fingerboard as I do here, the only way I can do it is to pull the bow faster. roughly twice as fast as so basically that's how sound production works we go closer to the bridge with the bow moving at the same speed to make a louder sound or if we want to make enough sound with the bow away from the bridge we have to move the bow faster that's all there is to it and in the next talk we're going to talk about how to divide the bow.